today we're getting ready to prepare for the Korean state dinner. And you know, as a chef, it's always kind of like a key whenever you plan a menu, that you work around what's available out there. And it so happened that we have some kids from Tubman Elementary School and Bank of Elementary School that did some garden harvest last week. And we're actually incorporating some of these lettuces that we got from the garden. And actually our first course, which is a squash soup, came from the garden as well. So, you know, 230 people is a lot of people. And hopefully our garden would be big enough to sustain for that many people. But what we've done is that kind of like take some ingredients from there that would kind of like, you know, marry with whatever's locally available as well. And let's take you to the garden salad side here. It's a wrap salad in daikon. Daikon is that wonderful Korean ingredient. So what we are actually doing is trying to put a little nod towards the Korean ingredients. It's gonna be dressed later on with sesame vinaigrette and a little masago rice pearl. So it's really, really light and it's really beautiful. So for the main course, of course, they have a love for wonderful beef and ribeye is the cut. What's gonna happen with this beef later on is that we're just gonna like lather it with a little bit of compound butter, nice garlic scallion. Scallion is such a wondrous Korean ingredient and it's gonna be served on a bed of turnip greens that came from actually a farm that's family owned up in Baltimore County. And then of course, Bill, he'll explain to you the pastry upstairs. We, we chose an ingredient that is popular both in Korea and the United States and is seasonal, and that's pears. We worked on these um, blown sugar pears, but that will be one of the elements on the plate. We also chose another universal flavor, that's chocolate. We blended layers of fine milk chocolate and a little bit of malted milk for a real American kind of uh, sweet. 